Welcome friends. Today topic of discussion is correct world map. If you have seen the map of the world, uh, here is the map of the world. Is uh, the true map of the world? No, it's not true. It's not correct, is it? This is not also. Mm. This is not also. This one is also no correct form of the world map is this no it is also not mm, it is also looking like a spherical world but uh, it is not technically it is not also correct map this is also a not correct map and uh, this is also a not a correct map and uh, this is also a spherical and uh, we can should to reject this map of the world this is also false map country in the normal places uh, position such as in algeria congo libya and when it put it over the higher latitude the distortion of map we can see here and again uh, china uh, china and africa when we compare that uh, there is some distortion when we compare with russia with africa Russia is looking so bigger uh, in the size of when we put uh, this Antarctica over the Southern America also this total is a uh, located viewing uh, in the next slide when we compare with India with the USA and China then we can uh, see here uh, here is the some true size of the map but uh, with the influence of higher latitude we can see some distortion here is we can see here and this is india and we when we uh, uh, going northward to take the country um, the distortion in the form of area we can see here when we uh, come back then area is um, decreased when we move it around left and right that there is no any distortion because of the same latitude when in the same way when we put uh, check up the USA left right there is no distortion but when it's move upward or southward or southern hemisphere then distortion is very high it is due to the higher latitude um, and it is due to the spherical object and the spherical things of the globe and that is the main reason in the next slide when we see the actual position of uh, uh, um, greenland when it put it on the over the equator then also it looked like a very uh, low in area and such an example is taken for the Nepal when we take this country over the Arctic or high latitude then distortion of uh, a map is uh, going to increase and when it is moving left light then it is not any increase in world map uh, it is uh, here we can see here the area of the um, country is uh, same look like uh, but direction is not mentioned here um, but we can see here the actual area of the country basically this is uh, uh, developed by a Japanese cartographer that is uh, that's name is um, Hazimi Narekuwa uh, his he's he was a Japanese architect and developed her cartography in 1999 the reason why certain countries looks uh, bigger or smaller than others is because of uh, something called the marketer projection 
putting a 3D planet uh, on a two-dimensional map was something of a challenge for early cartographers. In 1569, uh, he designed a map that could be accurately used for navigation purposes. But the downside was that his system distorted the size of objects depending on their position um, relative to their equator. But of these uh, land masses like Antarctica and Greenland appeared much larger than they are actually. Orthograph is an approximately equal area world map projection invented by Japanese architect Azumi Narukua in 1999. The map is made by equally dividing a spherical surface into 96 triangles transferring it to a tetrahedron while maintaining area proportions and unfolding it onto a rectangle. The map substantially preserves sizes and shapes of all continents and oceans while it reduces distortions of their shapes as inspired by, inspired by Damaxion's map. Triangular world map are also possible using the same method. The name is derived from athletic and graph. The method used to construct the projection ensures that the 96 reasons of the sphere that are used to define the projection each have the correct area, but the projection does not qualify as equal area because the method does not control area at uh, infinitesimal scale or even within those reasons. Thank you so much all of you friends. Please like, share and subscribe the channel for the further encouragement. Thank you again.